developing this evening, the State Board of Education unanimously approves Aurora's plan to turn around its low-performing schools, including Central High School. Denver 7's Mark Boyle was at the state meeting and has details of the district's plan to turn these schools around. To say students aren't where they need to be in their learning at Aurora Central is an understatement. It's been a significant challenge for years, and that's why we're here, to really make a difference. District numbers show less than half of students are graduating. Two-thirds aren't proficient in reading, and even more are behind in math. I talked to some students who say they know quite a few others who are dropping out, but not for a lack of effort by the district. We have five schools that are working together to make sure that our kids come into Central and West, the two of our high schools, with all the skills they need to be prepared. It's what has the school under the microscope of the state, along with four others. In a state-led effort, these schools have been deemed innovation zone schools, which gives school leaders the ability to shape the look and feel of education at Central. And allows the school to try new instructional methods, new uh, ways of organizing the school day. They've lengthened the school day, and they're providing more targeted support to their students. Leaders hope that turnaround will be immediate, but if it isn't, the district could ultimately lose its accreditation. We have a sense of urgency that is extremely important uh, to make a difference for our kids right now. Reporting in Denver, Mark Boyle, Denver 7. And the district has a few years to improve performance, but if it doesn't, well, there's really no precedent exactly for what would happen next. So coming up 